A retired Cal Poly police investigator is sharing the early details of the missing persons case involving Kristen Smart during day three of the preliminary hearing for Paul and Ruben Flores. KSBY's Megan Healy gives us a recap of this testimony so far. Retired Cal Poly investigator Lawrence Kennedy was pretty much the main witness on day three. He is one of the original investigating officers into Kristen's disappearance, and he explains what Paul Flores told him during several interviews. In court Wednesday, we're getting perspective from law enforcement. Retired Cal Poly police investigator Lawrence Michael Kennedy took on the missing persons case of Kristen Smart after Memorial Day in 96. Kennedy testified he first visited Paul Flores on May 28, 96 at his dorm room and described Paul as, quote, very nervous. On several occasions, Paul says to him that he walked Kristen up the hill to the dorms and left her near the driveway of the Sequoia red brick dorms before going to his Santa Lucia dorm around 3 a.m. This is a recreation of a hand-drawn map presented in court, the arrow indicating where Paul says he last saw Kristen. Paul's attorney, Bob Sanger, asks Kennedy who else had access to Paul's dorm during the investigation. Kennedy says in late June it was sealed with evidence tape and rechecked July 1st. Prosecutor Chris Prevell played the nearly 45-minute interview Kennedy conducted with Paul on May 30th. In the interview, Paul says he drank, quote, too much and doesn't remember talking to Kristen during the walk. He says he only gave her two hugs because Kristen said she was freezing. The prosecution attempts to submit a booking photo of Paul with a black eye from May 28, 1996 into evidence. But Sanger objects, citing a chain of custody issue. Kennedy then points out the black eye in the photo and says it was consistent with Paul's appearance the same day he interviewed him. The judge allows a photo into evidence. In the audio recording, Paul tells police and a friend that he got the black eye from playing basketball. During cross-examination, Sanger questions if Cal Poly police ever followed up on other potential suspects, specifically Brian Sawicki, a former volunteer officer who helped with the search and was charged with separate sex crimes in 2009. Kennedy says Sawicki was not investigated. In closed chambers, counsel and the judge discussed a cross-examination of Detective Kennedy about a statement he got from a girl named Alyssa, who was a friend of Kristen's in Hawaii. Alyssa described Kristen as, quote, carefree, outgoing, spontaneous, and boy crazy, saying she disappeared with men for hours. There's also been new discovery. The prosecution will be presenting Investigator Kennedy's original notes from the early days of the case Thursday morning. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. The judge moved to unseal documents related to search warrants in the case. The court is also preparing for the preliminary hearing to take all month. We have a more in-depth recap of testimonies in court Wednesday on our website, KSBY.com.